In this video, we'll be talking about tripartite synapse. When we think about synapse, this is the picture that comes in our head. Neurons connecting with other neurons in the brain. But this picture is rather incomplete. Because besides neuron, there are other players such as the astrocytes. So astrocytes along with the neuron actually form the tripartite synapse. And in this tripartite synapse, a lot of things happen. In this video, we would quickly learn about tripartite synapse. One of the things that astrocytes regulate in the tripartite synapse is the utilization and biosynthesis of a neurotransmitter known as glutamate. So let us look at how astrocyte can modulate the glutamate glutamine cycle in the tripartite synapse. So imagine this is a glutamatergic synapse. This is the presynapse, this is the postsynapse, and here in the pink is the astrocyte. So in the presynapse, when the action potential comes, there should be release of glutamate into the synaptic cleft. So where does glutamate come from? But before that, let me tell you, the glutamate which is released would bind to the postsynaptic glutamate receptors. Now glutamate gets synthesized from glutamine. And this happens via the enzyme glutaminase. Then astrocyte actually provides this glutamine to the neurons. Eventually this glutamate once produced is loaded by specific vesicular glutamate transporters into synaptic vesicles. And when the action potential comes, these vesicles can be released. Now when there is excess amount of glutamate present in the synaptic cleft, there are excitatory amino acid transporters which can take up the excess glutamate. And these transporters are present in mostly in astrocytes. So astrocyte can mop up extra amount of glutamate present in the synaptic cleft. Once uptaken, this glutamate can be converted into glutamine with the help of glutamine synthetase enzyme. So this particular function is really important for neuronal functioning because too much glutamate is bad for the neuron. It can lead to excitotoxicity and which ultimately lead to the death of the neurons. So glutamate excitotoxicity is prevented by the proper functioning of these important glial cell known as astrocytes because they take up extra glutamate. Now besides mopping up glutamate or helping in the glutamate biosynthesis pathway, astrocytes are far more important and they play a further important role in the brain. It turns out in the tripartite synapse, astrocyte can secrete specific molecules which help in neuronal communication. And these molecules are known as gliotransmitters which are shown here by red. Neurotransmitters are in black and gliotransmitters are shown in the red. So these gliotransmitters are actually um, interpreted by the synapse via specific receptors and thereby astrocyte can actually communicate with a functional synapse. If these tripartite synapse are perturbed, this would lead to many disease including neurodegenerative disorders. So I hope this was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can get more flashcard and notes in our Facebook and Instagram page. You can support our channel using super thanks. You can pay via Paytm, PayPal or UPI. So see you in next video.